Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a manga face, specifically a female face in a front view. And the only equipment you need for this drawing is a pencil and an eraser. Start off by roughly sketching a circle and then draw a vertical line and a horizontal line going through the centre. After that mark a guideline where you want the chin to be and then start drawing lines downward from the edges and then you can choose the angle for the jawline and the lines can meet at the chin and at this point it's already starting to look like the shape of a head. Now it's time to draw a couple of extra horizontal guidelines and these will help us to place the eyes. In this example I've chosen for the character to have some really large eyes uh, with the iris and the pupil taking up most of the space and not leaving much space for the white areas. And then a simple nose can be placed at the bottom of the circle and the mouth can be placed in line with the jaw. The ears can be quite low down on a character like this. So in this example the ears start at around the mid eye level and then the base is aligned with the bottom of the nose. And then I added another horizontal guideline to help draw the eyebrows and added a few extra details to the eyes. And I also made sure to add the neck, uh, but in a manga style like this, the character's neck is always very thin. And then finally, after all that, it's time to start drawing the hair. Again, there's so many different styles of hair to choose from, so don't take my method as the only way. It's awesome, because there's literally thousands of different styles to choose from. Once you're happy with all of the outlines, you can start to erase all of the guidelines we previously added, like the circle, the horizontal lines and the original vertical line. Once you've erased all of these, you'll be really happy to see the outlines of your character. And so now it's time to shade. The shading and the details of a manga eye can be done in hundreds of different ways, so don't take my example as the only way. You'll be able to find so many different styles online, and hopefully I'll work on some more tutorials soon. I left the shading quite minimal in this drawing and I only really focused on the eyes and the hair. Uh, for the hair I followed the same sort of example as my realistic hair drawing tutorial video. So if you want to learn more about that then feel free to check the video out on my channel and hopefully it will help in some way. Hopefully you'll be able to use this guide to create lots of different characters and that's why I've shown another quick example at the end of this video to show the kind of stuff that you can create. So if you ever work on a drawing after following this tutorial then feel free to show me your work, I would absolutely love to see it. As always if you enjoy these kind of videos and you want to learn how to draw then feel free to subscribe to my channel and any likes, shares, favourites, that kind of support is hugely appreciated and it means a lot to me and it helps out the channel. 
Uh, if you want to contact me via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, I have all of my links in the description box below, so if you can feel free to contact me there with any suggestions or feedback, and that's really appreciated. Once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel, it really means a lot to me. Uh, I really hope this video was helpful in some way, and hopefully I'll work on some more soon. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all soon.